What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today's video, ang pag-uusapan natin ay tungkol sa kung ano ba yung mga fees na binabayaran kapag uh, bumibili tayo ng property. So if you are a first time buyer or a first time seller, you should watch this. So I can at least uh, guide you kung ano ba yung dapat nyong bayaran as a seller or ano ba dapat nyong bayaran as a buyer. Alright, without further ado, let's start. Okay, so if you are a seller, first time seller, of course, you would not know what exactly you are going to pay. Sa buyer po, um, actually, yung closing fees pagdating sa buying, sa buying and selling properties, na pag uusapan naman yan in the beginning of like buying, like. Pwede naman yan, uh, it can, parang, pwede naman yan, uh, nanenegotiate ba on both parties kung sino ang magbabayad. But, in legal terms, uh, as a seller, uh, ikaw kung seller ka, ang binabayaran mo is yung CGT. Ano po ba yung CGT? It's Capital Gains Tax. Uh, paano ba yung basis ng capital gains tax? Uh, yan ay binabayaran sa BIR at mandatory po yan na binabayaran ng seller. So, yung buyer naman, ang binabayaran niya is transfer tax at saka uh, yung DST. DST is documentary stamp tax. Um, yung register of deed fees. So, yun yung mga binabayaran niya. Um, meron pang mga IT fees pero mga malit lang na bagay yun. So, pagdating naman sa deed of absolute sale, Again, pwede, it can be negotiated in between two parties kung sino talaga ang magbabayad. Pwede din pong share yun. So, um, as a seller, pwede ka, pwede ka namang magbenta uh, as net. So, if alam mo na kung magkano yung babayaran mo, pwede mo namang sabihin sa buyer na, okay, uh, this is my price net. Meaning, pag sinabi ng buyer na net, Si se uh, pag sinabi ng seller na net, ikaw as buyer, you will pay for everything for the CGT, ka, kung magkano yung CGT ni seller, babayaran mo yung on behalf of her name. Kasi, siya yung may, uh, siya yung dapat magbabayad ng CGT. So, since she is the seller, she will be um, charged CGT from the BIR. So, importante na ma-file yun as soon as possible kapag nagka-bentahan na. So, you, like, I, like I mentioned, everything can be negotiated in the beginning. Dapat klaro lang talaga na, okay, ito na yung price ko. Let's say, 3 million. Ito yung price ko. Gusto ko malinis na yan. So, anything that uh, na fees na dapat bayaran in, for the sake of title transferring pa, para mapunta sa you as a buyer, babayaran mo yun. So, unless meron siyang pending, like for example, sa assessor's office, dapat kasi kapag binili mo na yun, clean yung title. So, you can only do that kapag clean yung title. Clean meaning, wala siyang annotation, wala siyang pending taxes uh, sa assessors. So, ganun. So, again, um, if you are a buyer, uh, no, if you are a seller, it is mandatory for you to pay the 6% CGT. So, at saan po ba binibase yung 6% na capital gains tax? So, it depends po kung magkano yung pinagbentahan nyo. Whichever is higher. Either market value or zonal value. So, Di ba dalawa ang basis ni BIR? Uh, let's say, binenta mo siya as per zonal value. So, then, iti-charge ka nila ng 6 top. Like, kunyari, yung 3 million is... Um, yun yung zonal value ng pinagpentahan mo. So, i-charge nila yun ng 6%. E, paano po kung mas mataas po sa zonal value? That means, yun yung market value. So, i-charge ka nila kung magkano yung market value. So, mas mataas pa sa 3 million, kunyari 4 million, e, magbe-base sila doon ng 6%. So, ganun yung basis ng CGT. Wala ka wala. wala. Hindi po totoo yung pwedeng babaan pwedeng babaan yung selling price or whatsoever, you as a buyer or as a seller, you should at least make a research para alam mo rin mismo kung magkano yung babayaran mo. Kasi, meron naman yan sa BIR. So, ang basis dyan, whichever is higher, market value or zonal value. So, yun yung obligasyon mong bayaran. 
for the part of the buyer, ang babayaran mo naman is documentary stamps. Stamps tax. tax. So, 1.5% yun. Uh, yes, if I'm not mistaken, 1.5%. So, magbe-base din sila kung magkano yung selling price. So, apart from documentary stamp stock, um, um, an po ba bawiran mo? Registration fees sa RD at saka transfer tax. So, base din sila doon sa kung magkano yung selling price at saka value na ng, 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 ng building. So, dalawa yung basis dyan eh. So, Yeah, I mean, ngayon, kung si buyer, ayaw niya na ng maabala, uh, you, uh, si seller, ayaw na niya ng maabala, na mag-calculate pa ng whatsoever, then you as a buyer will then counter over kung magkano yung sinasabi niya na uh, net niya. Kung sa tingin mo, uh, overpriced or underpriced, it's up to you. I mean, just know how much you need to basically pay for her CGT. Kasi madali lang naman yan i-figure out eh. Uh, you have to go to the city hall, you can check the IR, how much is the updated zonal value, and and then you can figure it out whether she's selling higher than zonal value, if she's selling market value, or as per zonal value. So, yan po yung dapat bayaran ng pagta-transfer ng properties kapag kayo ay bumibili at nagbebenta especially if you're a first time buyer or a first time seller that's the piece that you should be looking at to pay all right so hopefully may natutulan kayo today on this video please do check out my other video also para magkaroon kayo ng idea uh, not only in a uh, rental investment but also for processing for how to uh, to apply for a loan and Uh, ano po ba yung tinasya? Meron din po ako mga frugal tips and then on how to scale up with your rental investment in the Philippines. Alright, thank you very much and see you next video. Bye for now.